Shortly after its battle with the Tyrannosaur pair, the InGen Giganotosaurus mysteriously disappeared and nobody had seen it since. That is until one day in 2005, 10 years after the epic battle, the Giganotosaurus reappeared and began terrorizing Isla Sorna once more. Once again, the Giganotosaurus thought it was the top dog and was able to beat a single T-Rex on its own with ease. That is until it encountered the Spinosaurus. The Spino was only created in 1998, a little after the Giganotosaurus' disappearance, so it had no knowledge of the other carnivore's existence. Nonetheless, both carnivores were more than willing to fight each other, with both being hyper-aggressive and actively searching for other apex predators to fight. What neither of them knew, however, was that this would be the greatest battle in Sorna's history, one that would shake the earth and would be heard from all over the island. The two carnivores exchanged thunderous roars before charging in. The battle was even, except for one advantage on the Spinosaurus's end larger arms. At the time, no theropod or dinosaur in general had arms as large as those of Spinosaurus. The Giganotosaurus had never fought anything like it in the past and was only used to fighting T-Rexes due to their small arms. Despite this, the Giganotosaurus was determined to prove that it was the top dog. The battle was fierce, with bites from the Giganotosaurus and punches from the Spinosaurus. Tired of being punched, the Giganotosaurus seized an opportunity to grab one of the arms with its jaws and try to pull it off. The Spinosaurus screamed in pain as it struggled to free its arm. The Spinosaurus eventually used its other arm to slap the Giganotosaurus for it to let go. Then the Spino grabbed its opponent by the neck and tried to snap it, but this is where the Giganotosaurus's advantage came into play. The Giganotosaurus had a much thicker neck than that of a T-Rex, and as a result, the Spinosaurus struggled to twist it. This gave the Giganotosaurus enough time to free itself and grab the Spinosaurus by its neck and pin it to the ground. The battle seemed to last for hours, and both carnivores had to find other ways to defeat the other rather than their normal techniques. The Giganotosaurus then noticed the sail protruding the Spinosaurus's back, and this gave the dinosaur an idea. The Spinosaurus charged forward, and the Giganotosaurus dodged it before grabbing the sail and he tried to snap it. The Spinosaurus roared in pain as the Giganotosaurus tried to break its spine. That was the turning point for the Spinosaurus. The more the Giganotosaurus tugged on the sail, the angrier the Spinosaurus got. The Spino then swung around and slammed the Giganotosaurus into a tree. The Giganotosaurus slid in shock as the Spinosaurus grabbed it and slammed it into even more trees. Knowing it couldn't break its opponent's neck, the Spinosaurus had to find another way to defeat the Giganotosaurus. It continued to punch its adversary with its large hands, and by this point, the Giganotosaurus was getting tired. This was the chance the Spinosaurus had been waiting for. With one final effort and trying to end this fight as quickly as possible, the Spinosaurus lunged forward with punch after punch. The Giganotosaurus tried to retaliate, but the Spinosaurus wouldn't relent. The Spino then grabbed the neck of the Giganotosaurus again, pinned it to the ground, and used its hands to try and break the Giganotosaurus jaw. The Giganotosaurus screamed in pain as the Spinosaurus broke its jaw and finally killed it. The Spinosaurus let out a loud victory roar before proceeding to eat the Giganotosaurus. For many years after, the Spinosaurus would continue to terrorize Isla Sorna until sometime after when Manticorp transported the specimen to their island where it currently resides. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.